yes. Oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is the biggest fish of the day. Are you kidding? Hey, really quick, this week YouTube sent out a notice that I have to have a thousand subscribers by February 20th in order to make money on YouTube. Now, I don't make a lot of money on YouTube, but every little bit helps. Would you please consider getting your friends, your family members, kids, even strangers to subscribe to Rad Reeling Fishing because it's a pretty awesome fishing channel, at least I think so. I am going to keep making videos whether I make money or not, but I need to reach this goal by February 20th. And if you have a popular YouTube channel, would you please consider promoting me on your channel? Or if you don't have a popular YouTube channel, please consider promoting me on your channel. Leave a comment below below if you need help with your channel and I'll go over there and subscribe to your channel as well. Hey, pause this video. Go take care of that. Come back and watch this video because there's some awesome fishing action going on in here. I catch some nice keeper mangrove snapper. I don't know how to end this. Thanks. Ah, well, glad I got that taken care of. Now, maybe I can get back to my plan, which was to go fishing with live shrimp today. And uh, without an aerator, I have to come up with a second plan. And uh, luckily, the place that I'm going, they have uh, the water's not very far away. And I can just take my flow troll bait bucket, which um, I have never had to call and complain about. Are you guys the distributors or the creators for the Bubble Box portable air pump? We're the God, man. Why won't this freaking thing work? Dang it. It's two sets of batteries that I put in here. You know, look at that. The motor's like corroded. It's what it is. It's from saltwater fishing. This thing is just not like really sealed up really good. I don't get it, man. <sighs> These things are like durable and will last a, almost a freaking lifetime right here. Um, yeah, I'm going to go get some live shrimp and this guy, we're going to take this right here and i should be able to tie this rope off to that drop that bucket in the water that'll keep my shrimp alive and i'll get an o-tab to keep your shrimp alive if you're not familiar with an o-tab it's a little bitty thing they sell about that big around comes in a metal case you pop the top off of it and it creates oxygen for a short period of time it'll keep the shrimp alive from the time i leave the bait shop and head over to the place i'm going to go fishing this afternoon Yeah, hey, um, yeah, I'm calling about the bubble box. Um, I've been fishing a lot in the past four months, and uh, I'm on my second bubble box. Fortunately, I bought, you know, the first one from Walmart, and I returned it when it went bad. Um, I just pulled out my bubble box uh, to go fishing. I've had this one for probably a couple months now, and, you know, it's been sitting for about two weeks, and I just put three different sets of batteries in it, and I can't get it to work. So this will be my second one that's failed um, in about four months. And uh, I, I'm just, you, you know, I mean, it's salt, it's, it's salt water. I mean, I understand, you know, salt water corrode, corrodes things. But um, I'm just, I guess I'm just calling to say maybe you guys should work on some kind of protective coating for your motors and parts and stuff because they're just not holding up in salt water. So, are are you using the clamshell that it came in? I yeah, I'm I'm using everything you know that it but came that in. That sort of helps if, you know keep all the water, most of the water, because with the tubing coming out of the side and stuff, you know, it it, it does help a lot. Um, okay, uh, your first and last name. Definitely gonna need some money, 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 money. No, we don't need money. We have a credit card. Ah, yes, I'm going to take the new pin reel that I got, spooled up with 15-pound test trialing the other day, and I put it on my Shakespeare Elite uh, medium heavy rod. Right. <sighs> Let's see, what else do we need? Saltwater tackle box. No, we'll be leaving here in a minute. All right, that's really cool. They are going to uh, replace my aerator with a better aerator. Hey, that's awesome, man. See? It pays to complain sometimes. I'm just glad the company that manufactures them are in the United States of America and I didn't get like shifted all around. And uh, hey, it worked out fine. All right, we gotta go in here and get us some fuel. Oh yeah, fuel. 
rocket fuel, energy, for fishing. That's it. All right, let's move. Nothing worse than being hyped up on energy drinks and creeping slow through a school zone. Come on, I gotta go fishing. Let's go. All right, guys, so my freezer is anorexic. Old bait, steak, some bananas, a bunch of ice, and a little pack of shrimp. You know, fish in the freezer, man. I have some shrimp in there. Anyway, when I first started my YouTube channel, I came out to the marina trying to catch some sheephead. And uh, right now, the wind is blowing about 30 miles an hour. It's freezing cold. And everybody kept telling me, hey, sheephead are winter fish, you know? First drop on the Pen Pursuit 2, man. Oh, there's a fish. That didn't take long. Look at that. Nice little grouper, man. All right. First cast. Hey, thanks for the catch, man. <laughs> Trips a success already. First cast. There he is. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Nice, that's what I was wanting right there. Sheephead, man, I got him. Yes, that's what we came to catch. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Mr. Sheepy, woo. We're going to catch us. We're going to catch us some dinner today, man. Catch and cook. We're going for sheephead, but I got a feeling we're going to catch something good. There he is. Oh, my goodness, a nice big old snapper. That's dinner. That's dinner right there. Let's see what we got here. I don't have a tape measure with me. All right, from the tail. Measure this guy six inches to there. To right there. There to there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's an inch and a half. Six. He'll make it. I don't mind getting bit by snapper when they're big enough to keep, man. The word's out now. It's like as soon as you can get it in the water, they're hitting it. There he is. Good sized snappers. That one's better. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, there we go. Yeah. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Another good one. Easily 10 inches. Use this guy as a measuring tool. Oh yeah. It's a good hit. Oh, good fish. Nice snapper. Nice snapper, man. That's a good one. Real good one there. All right, three keeper snappers. People, Florida keep walking by making comments about me ice fishing. Good day for ice fishing, that guy said. <laughs> Woo! Man, y'all, y'all see that boat? That big boat is just getting blown around by the wind. That's how windy it is. Crazy windy. Man, he like got all over that thing. Whoa, he hit that thing hard. He's not gonna make it. That little guy though, man, look at how he's short and fat. Wow, that's like a, a midget mangrove snapper. Look at how, sh look at how short the distance is, his tail. Thanks for the catch, buddy. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, that's a good one there, man. Nice, 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 nice. Come here, big guy. He's gonna eat tonight. Big old snapper. 
Big old mangrove. Look at the size of that dude, man. Woo! Nice. That's a good one there. That is a little bitty guy. See if we catch the biggest fish of the day on the smallest shrimp in the bucket. This is pretty much it, guys. I think this is the last shrimp. Let's see if we get the biggest fish of the day on the smallest shrimp. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is the biggest fish of the day. Are you kidding? What? Big old snapper, man. Oh, 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 oh. The biggest fish of the day on the smallest shrimp. That is so funny. Look at that. On the smallest shrimp, man. You! <laughs> Eleven inches all day long. Did you guys ever see my video about freezing water for ice? That's what I did, man. Kept my snappers nice and cold. So uh, hey, we got some nice snappers here, man. We crushed it. Woo! We're gonna do us a uh, yeah. We're gonna get some of these bad boys grilled up tonight. Okay, so I caught a ton of mangrove snapper that I didn't actually put in the video. My next video is gonna be of me grilling some mangrove snapper. You don't want to miss that one. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Thumbs up are always appreciated. And remember to promote and help me out. I've got to reach this goal of a thousand subscribers by February twentieth. All right. Don't just sit there, man. Get out there and go fishing. There's lots of fish waiting for you. See ya.